All right, so here's the official opening of the class. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, this is a Computer Science uh, 350, Section 1, Operating System. Uh, this is week number 7, and today is Thursday, February 29th. Uh, the section time is 9.30, and this was uh, being recorded. Okay, so <coughs> is being recorded. Okay. All right, um, is there any questions anybody have uh, that you want to ask me before I start things? Okay, I take that pause as a, uh, everything's all right, so let me kind of move along then. Uh, today's topic is, uh, uh, or this week's topic is deadlock. I'm going to just turn off my video to get more bandwidth. So let's see here. And so uh, what I want to do today is to basically do the uh, deadlock lab demo. Okay, so let me put this away and bring my uh, <clears throat> blackboard here make it a little bit bigger okay. and so this is week seven uh, there are three assignments here for this week as usual um, here's a Zybook, here's a, a deadlock worksheet which we did on uh, Tuesday and then today is the deadlock uh, lab so if you move up to the instructional material section, here is the instruction for the lab. So if you click on that, uh, you should see this guy right here, which I already uh, downloaded, okay? So I'm going to go over this, uh, but before I do, I just want to show you that I'm giving you uh, the, uh, the code. Uh, the code in C is given right here. So if you click on this one, it should open up a new tab for you and the program is a little bit cutting off so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so you guys can see the whole thing okay so this is the the program you see and I put a lot of notes here just in case that you want to uh, kind of understand a little bit more or have some details on them okay but this is the uh, uh, C program solution for the dining hall uh, dining not the dining hall a dining philosophy uh, is, uh, deadlock issue. I also am giving the same program in uh, Python just in case that you know you guys are more familiar with Python so if you click on this one it'll open up another tab and it's the same program but it's in Python uh, language so um, you can kind of tell by the um, uh, the block uh, comment notation here and the way the uh, functions are de defined and stuff like that okay so I'm giving you that and so uh, let me bring up the uh, instruction and basically what you need to do is to uh, let me get rid of this to get rid of the clutter and I'll go over this uh, um, what's on the screen uh, instruction and then I'll actually do the demo but basically, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Um, it's the uh, the program is uh, the solution to the dining philosopher deadlock. I'm giving you the resource uh, where you can get the original uh, source code uh, that I got from the internet, which is very similar. I didn't change too much. Um, and then all you need to do is to take a screenshot of what I'm asking down here uh, and just submit. Okay, so that's the deliverable. In terms of the steps. There are four steps. The first step is to, uh, you know, find out where the code is, and I already showed that to you. So it's like right here, right? So here's the the two codes, well, the same one. So you can grab either one of them, okay? Uh, get that, and then uh, you can run it in either language, and then paste it on uh, wherever you want to uh, run. I gave you. Uh, both the option of running online uh, as well as running on uh, your software, uh, installed software. So if you are grabbing the C code, let's say this code right here, uh, all you have to do is to open up this tutorial.com by the uh, uh, tutorialspoint.com. If you click on it, uh, you're going to get this one. Okay, so this is tutorialspoint.com. 
online compiler and all you have to do is to just copy this program you don't have to copy the comment but you know I'm going to copy everything so copy this here and then just paste it up to here and then just run it okay so before I run it uh, what I like you to see is you know when it is running observe the output and what are you looking for uh, you're looking for a couple of things verify that all ph philosophers are showing up there are five people and so there's a zero one two three four and then also that everyone uh, gets to eat and drink uh, I'm not eat and drink <laughs> uh, eat and, and think right um, yeah, I guess they should be drinking too, as you know, something, right? But anyway, uh, because all they do is just eat and, uh, and think. So make sure that everybody is doing that. And you may need to look at it for a few minutes in order to find that out. And then make sure that there is no deadlock, right? Because that's the whole point. Um, uh, and how would you know that there is no deadlock? Well, if, if nothing's happening, nobody's uh, uh, eating, nobody's thinking, and the program is just kind of stuck and it's not showing you anything, right? So, take, you know, make sure you kind of look at that, right? Um, and then at the end, uh, just to take a screenshot, something like this, uh, or, you know, something like this or whatever, and then just paste it up and submit. Okay, so what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to just run this program here, okay? So I'm going to make this here and just execute. And you should see, uh, you want to look for all the numbers here, 0, 1... Here's a two, three, and a four, right? And you kind of want to look at it so that here's a zero is thinking, zero is thinking, zero is eating, that's good. Two, uh, one is thinking, one is eating. So you want to kind of look at that and make sure that this program is actually working, right? Um, so that's pretty much all you have to do. And then just take a screenshot of this, right? Uh, take a screenshot like that. No, new... Um, you know, something like that. And, you know, just you may want to just highlight this is tutorial, tutorial online, compiler. And then that's pretty much it. And you can just paste that up and in, into the a Word doc and just submit, right? Or um, if you want to not do this one, uh, you want to do the uh, Python one, then you go here uh, and then, you know, like here, uh, get the Python code which is, I think, let's see, uh, this is C, this is the uh, Python. So you grab this guy, right, and then run it on uh, this guy here. Okay, so I'm going to uh, paste, and I'm going to run, okay. So here, the same thing is happening, right. So uh, you can just take a screenshot, but make sure you do the same thing. But if you uh, don't want to do the online, then you can get rid of this one here. And uh, let's see here. Let me bring up uh, the instruction here. So you can run it on online, or you can uh, run it on uh, a installed software like Thorny or PyCharm. So I'm going to run on Thorny because it's a little lighter. So I'm going to bring up uh, the Thorny here. Let's see. Where is my thorny? Here we go. So uh, here's the the one, and I'm just gonna get rid of this here just so they can see, you know, uh, from the beginning. I'm going to come here. That's a C. Uh, this is a Python, so I'm gonna copy that. I'm going to come over here to thorny, paste it up, and I'm going to just. Uh, run okay so when you run it you should see the same thing you know it, on here it runs uh, shows you at the bottom so um, and it may not be all that pretty here uh, but you can kind of see that it's running right so so that's okay but let me see here let me stop uh, let me try it again because uh, no uh, let's do the Tony here
maybe I need to grab it first here, so I'll grab it here, copy that, uh, paste it up here, and then I'm going to run it again. Okay, so here we go. So this is, uh, you know, running again, but, you know, the, uh, the formatting here isn't as good as the other one. So, but if you do it this way, you can also take a screenshot of this, okay? But I'm just going to uh, let it go. So anyway, um, here is the uh, week seven, and here is the the instruction that I went over. Okay, um, if I go over the code a little bit here, um, let's see, can I do that here? So if I do the C first, okay. Uh, so let me you know explain just a few minutes. Uh, what the pro, uh, pro, uh, problem uh, and, and what the solution that we're looking for. So uh, the basic idea uh, for this, a uh, dining philosophers, um, let me make it a little bit bigger. All right. Uh, issue is that they could be just starving because they're not uh, picking up all the utensils uh, in order to eat. So the idea is to uh, to pick up the chopstick, and I guess I'm using you know the word chopstick here rather than forks, but only pick it up. Right, pick up only when both are available. If there's only one available, don't pick it up because well, what's the point of picking one up? One up? You're just going to hog the uh, uh, the resource, and you're not going to eat, and you may you're going to you know prevent someone else from eating too, right? So uh, this will prevent uh, the deadlock where all philosophers just holding one, right? And so you don't want to do that. And that's the pretty you know there may be other solutions, but that's a, a easy solution. Um, and then, uh, you know, you can use a sleep function to delay and kind of simulate that they're actually eating and stuff like that. But that's not really necessary. But I'm going to do it because it kind of makes it more realistic. Okay. So, uh, as usual, you want to uh, include the header files like over here, right? And then uh, we want to use the semaphores. You can use other ones, uh, but semaphores are pretty uh, practical and easy to use. And then uh, we're going to create a thread uh, or function uh, uh, for each philosopher. And then we're going to use the uh, uh, initializing the left and the right chopsticks. And then you wait uh, until uh, the both uh, chopsticks are available, then pick it up, right? And then put, put them down uh, when you're done. And then you can go back to think, right? So that's pretty much the outline here. So uh, here is the header file that I mentioned to you. We are going to uh, use a, sem a semaphore, the chopsticks, declaring five semaphores here. We're going to be using a, an array right here. And then uh, this is a function for uh, a philosopher. Um, and then we're going to uh, you know, use the ID here for each of the, uh, the philosophers. And then here's the infinite loop uh, try, you know, so that the philosopher tries to pick up both uh, chopsticks you know, if it's available, right? And then here is the sleep. Uh, you, we're going to wait one second uh, for the sleep function to kind of mimic that. And then here's the main one, right? Uh, so we're going to use the thread ID for each philosophers. We're going to uh, initialize the semaphores. Uh, we're going to use a loop uh, to create five philosophers, just like the array that we uh, made for the semaphores, and they're going to be acting as a uh, the thread. And then uh, we'll be uh, just uh, running them uh, one by one, and we should be uh, mimicking. And so when you saw that running, uh, let's see here, uh, where's the instruction here? So let me get over to the online compiler here, and if we kind of run that again, right, copy this here. Um, and, and run it, basically uh, you are not seeing any problem here, right? You are uh, allowing all of the philosophers uh, to take a turn eating uh, and uh, going back to um, uh, thinking. Uh, you know, if you want to uh, make it a little bit more, you know, uh, uh, detailed in terms of the output, you can print out, you know, which chopstick each philosopher is picking up and obviously, it needs to be the one on the left and the right, but 
you know, basically this is all you uh, kind of need to know for right now. But I uh, just wanted to show you and, and kind of give you a hands-on experience for running a lab to solve the deadlock situation. Okay. So let me pause here and see here. Uh, is there any questions okay, about about the deadlock demo? No? I'll take that silence as uh, things are okay. Um, so uh, that's it pretty much for today. I will post up this. Um, so I will post this video uh, on uh, Blackboard. And it's not going to be... It's, it's not a, a Zoom, so it's not a uh, Zoom. Uh, it'll be a uh, my uh, own uh, video, okay? Because the Zoom goes away after 30 days. I, you know, I think it'd be good to have it uh, for, um, you know, for the future reference. Okay, uh, and otherwise, uh, that's it. Uh, have a good week. I'll see you all, uh, see you all on campus on Tuesday. Uh, on campus. Okay. All right, sounds good. All right, take care, everyone. Have a good weekend.